Oh, Vicki, that woman didn't want to be on camera, but told me she had just returned from dropping off her husband at work at 4.45 a.m. As she approached her apartment door, the victim says she could sense someone behind her. She turned to see a man with a gun pointed at her face with his other hand out demanding cash. A neighbor picks up the story from there. She was like that he just cornered her, kind of demanded her for her stuff. She started screaming like bloody murder. And scared off the armed attacker. According to Brittany Floyd, who lives just above the woman who was held at gunpoint. It's one in a series of armed robberies which have taken place recently in PRP, Valley Station, and the surrounding area. Police haven't confirmed if it's a single assailant or more than one suspect responsible for the crimes, but LMPD confirms six women have been targeted, some hit in the face and head with a handgun before being robbed. I was shocked. Of the six robberies, perhaps the scariest was here on 8 Bells Lane. Police say a woman was sitting in her car when a man jumped inside. He pointed a gun at her and made her go to an ATM and withdraw cash. Then he made her drive back here where he got out of the car and fled on foot. I was shocked when I heard about the incidents. It's really quiet around here, um, but the last couple of months there's been some break-ins that I knew about from the complex that sent an email, but I didn't know about the assaults or anything. So it's pretty scary. Marquita Tingle lives in an apartment complex on Moss Creek Drive. It's been hit twice. The suspect or suspects have also targeted women living in apartments on Yazoo and Tallahatchie streets. I was only, of course, aware of only one. So knowing that there were six definitely has me a little bit more on alert. Several of the victims described the suspect to police as a black male with light skin, thin build between 5'10 and 6 feet tall. Louisville Metro Police are expected to release more information about these attacks during a press briefing tomorrow at noon. Of course, if you have any information about this case, you're asked to call 574-LMPD. Reporting live in the studio, Randall Cam, WLKY News.